2017 National Criterion Championships was the big, the first big race that Tom Pidcock uh, won on the road, it seems, uh, well, especially national title-wise. And early on, 28 minutes to go, um, well, 28 gone, minutes gone, sorry, Harry Tanfield and the boys, John Mould, are up the road. And Pidcock spots this and just launches it. This is when a young Pidcock, when he was like 17 years old, um, had junior gearings like a 52-14, would have been his biggest gear. And he was just like, I'm going to win it. And he would have weighed probably about 50 kilos and it's a crit championship, but he's just flying. Look at him bridge this gap. I mean, like Harry Tanfield, obviously, you know, you might say, oh, these people are all Conti riders. But like Harry Tanfield's now world tour doing well to like these these boys, they're good at riding bikes. Um, And it's it's crazy how good Pidcock was at that age on something that I think most people would say, OK, yeah, obviously, you know, cyclocross, you're a punchy guy. But, you know, in order to be able to bridge the gap like that is is crazy at such a young age we skipped forward a lot 49 minutes to go nothing really happened the break was basically out there it got brought back and a lot of people thought that could be the end of it for Pidcock because obviously he wasted well not wasted but he put a lot of energy in uh to in the breakaway and uh, would he be able to recover in time as you saw four laps to go so getting towards the business end of the race um I think this was in Sheffield uh it was a pretty nice circuit so the finishing climb as you saw there was sort of cobbles um, and then it goes on to a flat section, but pretty technical, and you really want to be towards the front. Um, and you can see here Madison Genesis uh, on the front and just drilling it um, in order to keep their sprinter uh, in good position. Pidcock's sort of like halfway in their train, doing pretty well. I think he seems to have quite a lot of respect on the riders. They didn't try and bat him out as the lead out train and stuff. He was just, everyone's like, oh, fair enough, he's good. I think he won a tour series this year as well um, in Durham, which was crazy. Like he, he just soloed off the front and just been everyone uh it was of course obviously really soon him very technical in durham's got a cobbled climb which obviously is pretty good um on the cobbles from a cyclocross background and obviously a world-class climber as well especially the punchy ones from cyclocross uh so all in all was a very solid route here i feel like again he was saying this section here he was just running out of gears um but as we get into the final corner before the climb you can see it's always got good position because out of this obviously it's a massive kick up um into the ne and then into the next corner, which is actually the one that gets into the um into the final climb of the day. Um, but Pickock's like fourth, fifth wheel here, just looking pretty calm. Uh, I think he knows that you know that the sprint to the final corner isn't where it's going to be won. But if you're not in the first couple positions, you're definitely not really going to be in contention. And Madison Genesis are really starting to launch it now, absolutely flying along here, um, probably 50, 60 k's an hour. And I think Pickock was probably just spinning at 120 k's and trying to keep it up with them. Um, and, he, you know, he does an excellent job here because the position, like, with bigger people around him, obviously, Conti guys, like, this this is a pretty good one. We're going to slow this one down here, and you'll be able to see that the position Pidcock has is, like, fourth wheel. He sort of dive bombs underneath um, and then managed to move up a place or two into pretty much the ideal one. And any further back, like these guys now, there's just no chance that you're going to be able to um, compete in the finale. Um, and Pidcock on the exit of the corner is now like third wheel and just sprinting around that corner. It takes a little bit of time for it to go onto the head-on shot, but when you see the head-on shot, Pidcock is just absolutely flying. It's a thermonuclear attack from Pidcock. He just leads it out from like literally the corner and just started going, and he knows that on these like long 20, 30 second sprints, that's what he's really good at from his cyclocross background. And here, just no one can come around him. Like, he's got John Moore and Harry Tanfield on his on his wheel, and just no one is getting round. Um, and cheerio, thanks for coming. Uh, I think Harry Tanfield managed to get in second place at the end of the day, but Pidcock still at the end of this uh, climb still has a very, very solid sprint and actually increases the lead all the way to the line. So it's an outrageous ride by Tom Pidcock, um, a huge result at a very young age and obviously just confirmed his potential. Here's the replay again. You can see that he's just strung everyone out. No one's getting round um, and it's, yeah, it's a top, top performance from the boy. So anyway, I, hopefully I'll make some more videos. It's been a bit lazy recently, um, but with the old lockdown in the UK, can't really go out to mates anymore. So, um, yeah, we'll be, we'll be whacking YouTube and cycling a lot. So, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.